Well, Thomas Anderson is the founder of STIQ, a research firm that tracks companies developing humanoid robots around the world. The, uh, the sector is really, really early stage. Uh, there are some green shoots uh, of companies that are doing better than others, but still it's um, everything that's going on is kind of pilots and trials for now. So it's very, very difficult to say. There's loads of uh, media kind of PR uh, spiel on as well with some uh, uh, humanoids doing um, uh, say parkour dances and so on as well. If they are in the lead, it's um, yeah, it's difficult to say, essentially. I think we'll see how it pans out in the next uh, six to 12 months. In terms of funding, um, you, your own research says that around 60% of the funding for these humanoid robots is coming from Asia. Why Asia in particular? And is there a danger, do you think, that Western firms are going to be permanently locked out of the market due to these early funding dynamics? So that kind of dynamic has shifted a bit as well. So now we have probably, I think it's fairly similar what um, Asian and um, US companies are fundraising. But you get far more um, value for your money in, um, in a place like China where uh, the supply chain is far cheaper to engage with. So what is it about the supply chain in China that, that, that makes it so much easier and faster for companies to build these robots? It's just an amazing setup. You have everything there, everything, you know, motor manufacturers, um, component uh, suppliers, 3D printers, everything is just set up for having a really fast iteration or product iteration um, there as well. And you can be quite creative as well. Um, what the U.S. have perhaps is that they have NVIDIA and then a few of the really big uh, fundraisers as well. But that supply chain in China is just, um, it, it's unbeatable for now anyway. So a lot of the US companies to keep up, for, for example, they need to produce their own components as well, which is partly why they have to fundraise so much. But yeah, it, it's just an amazing um, supply chain that exists in China. Now, of course, the whole idea of humanoid robots seems like something that's straight out of science fiction, doesn't it? Do you see a time, and if so, when, when these robots will be a a a as common as the smartphone? It'll be looked at as the a, a revolution on the scale that the smartphone was. I'm a um, humanoid cynic, perhaps, but um, I think there will definitely be a place for humanoids in their current form, um, you know, either with the wheelbase or with uh, bipedal, like legs and so on. But if it's going to be big, that's... Um, that's a bigger question that I can perhaps respond now. We talk to a lot of end customers who are very keen to try out these uh, robots. What they are telling us is that it's almost impossible to, to get a robot that can do anything right now.